Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Parmzy. Today is finally the makeup day, honey. I think about a month ago I bought this Persona Cosmetic, the Pink Theory. First of all, let's just say the packaging is just magnificent. I love this seamless, very clean packaging. So the eyeshadow came in this kind of packaging with the color palette and on the back you get like the whole description of what's in there. I used it once, I share the picture on Instagram and everybody asked me what eyeshadow I'm using and they wanted a video about it. So today is your lucky day, honey because I'm about to show you how to achieve this makeup look using this eyeshadow palette, which is Divine. And if you know, you know I'm a big fan of Persona. I have their first identity palette. I've been using it a lot. I'm kind of like destroying it by now. I love their highlighter. Zuma is my favorite. And as you can see, I'm almost done with it. Their products, it's so amazing. When I tried this Pink Theory eyeshadow, I was like, you know what? You're right. I need to share this makeup look. Plus, let me tell you something, to me, I feel like the pricing it's very affordable because not only you get the eyeshadow palette in the package you also get a very good versatile blending brush and also the best eye pencil on the freaking planet in the package so I can actually incorporate these two other items with my other shadow palettes and use them. I love the brush. The brush is so soft, dense enough, packed enough. You can use the tip of it for blending or the flat side to just pack the color on your lid. The eyeliner is my favorite because it's so creamy, glides on your eyes like a dream and you can actually smudge it and after 10, 20 seconds, it becomes so still that it won't move anymore. And it has the effect of a gel liner, which I love. I bought their lip gloss as well, and the lip gloss is in the shade Toffee. I'm wearing it, obviously, <laughs> right now. It has vitamin A, avocado, and all the other great ingredients in it. It's not sticky. It's so nourishing so hydrating the little shimmer in the lip gloss actually catches the light it gives you more plumless because it gets to the highlight area i just love it anyways enough of rambling if you're interested to see how i achieve this eye makeup look you better subscribe to my channel like this video and just keep on watching honey keep on watching Okay, obviously I already did my base, my foundation, bronzer, contouring, concealer. Well, the concealer didn't do much because my under eyes are just crying from being tired and no sleep. Next thing I always do, I just grab a lip balm and moisturize this crocodile lips because these bitches are always dry, my dear always dry. I'm using Tarte Tape Shade, my concealer as my eyeshadow primer. If you're new to my channel, I usually use concealer or foundation as my eyeshadow primer and they do work very well, especially I have greasy eyelids. So if I don't prime my eyelids, properly my shadow will not stay in place i'm gonna use the luppery setting powder to just set the concealer you don't want to over powder over your concealer because it's going to make it super dry and the shadow wouldn't actually attach to the lid you want to have your eyelids kind of like damp looking not super wet have the concealer halfway dry so i'm gonna just whip it very 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 lightly over my lids now this is the exciting part we're gonna just dive in 
to this beautiful shadow. She really took her time to come out with this color palette. It's a very good ombre. It's very versatile, even though it's pink, because you can wear the burgundy, for fall, winter, I mean, I love pink all year round. You can have a bold look with this one, or if you're going for more of a neutral, you can use the lighter pink with the cream. My camera, my lighting, it's probably too harsh for this because it shows it's white, but actually it's a white that has very fine pink undertone. I forgot to use this, you can actually use this to set your primer. I did that once when I used it. It's such a pretty blushy, very soft pink that you can use as a base or you can just highlight. What I really enjoy doing recently, I think I mentioned it in my other makeup videos, I like to use my bronzer in my crease, just slightly above my crease because I have hooded eyes and this way it's gonna be way seamless at the end and all my makeup look it's gonna tie together a lot of makeup artists actually do this okay with the same brush I'm gonna just go into the taupe pink the lightest pink with the ashy undertone and just go over where I place the bronzer slightly above the crease and really blend it with my bronzer well obviously my favorite spring summer makeup look it's this fuchsia pink neon look but i'm wondering what is your guys's favorite summer spring eyeshadow makeup look do you like more bronzy more bold with different colors do you like a natural looking makeup glossy or just no makeup at all you're all about skincare i'm just curious you know let me know down below in the comment section now with the more defined brush but still a blending brush the persona cosmetic brush just dip it into the, the medium pink color and go over whatever i did so far but just focus like from the outer socket and go in for blending i'm using the tip of the brush very very gentle you don't want to add any pressure to your brush and drag it drag it because all the pigment is going to transfer to your eyelid and blending it later, it's going to be harder. So always go with a very, very light hand and just build it up. Honestly, her shadows are amazing. I can have my foundation, concealer, everything on my face and apply this shadow and I get no, no fallout whatsoever which I love. I'm going back to the taupe pink and kind of marrying all these three colors together. It's all about going back and forth, back and forth and blend it. What's going on with my hand? I just noticed this, this is crazy. What's happening with my hand? Oh my God, my lipstick broke in here and in my makeup bag. <laughs> Very nice. Now we're paying the dues. This is a lesson learned. Clean your brushes, Parmita, before you start a video. Okay, with the flat brush, I'm gonna just dip into fuchsia. I lay the brush on the shadow. I don't really drag it because it already grabs all the pigment. And literally lay it all over my lid. With the tapping motion, I'm again, I'm not dragging it. If you drag the shadow, you're just taking away the pigment, so you have to put more layers. Honestly, the flatter the brush is, it might be easier for you if you're a beginner. And now when I get to the tear duct, I'm gonna drag it a little bit because I don't want that much pigment in my inner corner since I will be highlighting it. So we kind of got the base down. I look like I'm a freaking weirdo right now because we need to blend it. And since I have a hooded eye, as you can see, my crease ends right over here. I'm gonna go slightly above my natural crease and give it more of a contour effect. That way my lid, it's gonna look like it's bigger. But if you don't have hooded eyes, heavy fold, you don't really need to do this. They're so pigmented. 
Now to blend out everything, I'm gonna go in with the Persona brush and go over the edge of my crease where my eyelid and crease meet. Do you guys see it? It's not patchy, it's not drying, there is no strict. It's so blendable. It's insane. Now I'm gonna dip into the blush color, which is white with the pink undertone and highlight my inner corner with the pencil brush because it's dome and more narrow so I can just get in there, honey. Okay, I'm gonna just go do the same thing on this eye and I'll be right back. For the bottom lash line, I'm going in with the taupe pink all over my bottom lash line with the more narrow brush. Not just super close to my lash line, but just right below it. You know when you smile like this, you see that little cutie pie coming out? You want to just go over that honey when you smile in the picture, that part, the under I little cutie is gonna pop out. Your choice, you can leave it like this or go even darker with that fuchsia color, which Parmita is about to do. And this time I am focusing super close to the lash line and I'm gonna just blend it later. You lay it down. I'm going with the blending brush and blend everything out and again highlight my inner corner with the blush color i'm not using any shimmer because this eye look we want to keep it matte looking pink for my eyeliner i'm using their eyeliner i'm obsessed with it all right of course my camera would literally seriously okay Thanks to my camera for dying on me and make me wait half an hour. I think I was talking about their eyeliner, the Persona eyeliner. It's in a plum color. I'm obsessed with this eyeliner, you guys. So creamy. Also stays in place. So it's one of those that it's very creamy. So you, you're gonna be able to smudge it after you apply it on your eyes and it stays on. It also great for all different eye colors, especially plum color brings out the brown. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just line my waterline as easy as this to give it some color go slightly above my lash line, in between the lashes, and just draw a very thin line. Kind of like wing it out, but not really winging it out, because I don't want to have a wing liner. And pretty much that's it, because I really want to show off this fuchsia hot pink on my lids and not really focus on any dramatic eyeliner and take away that bright pink moment from my eyes. What I'm going to do very lastly, I'm going to reapply the pink one one more time, the fuchsia, the darkest one, with the flat brush to just make sure there is enough pigment on my lid, drag it a tap bit above my crease, especially on my right eye because my right eye has heavier fold than my left. Go over the crease area with the toe pink. It just really depends how pigmented you want your eye look to be, you know? Now I'm gonna just dip in my blending very narrow brush into the blush color, which is the white with the pink undertone, and just go right below my arch. This is it, it's so simple. Now I'm gonna finish up my eyes with a coat of my Lancome Mascara Primer. And then go over it with my Marc Jacobs. This is the only mascara I use, and it's a black knower. I love this mascara so, so much. Let's not forget the power of lower lashes. I don't dip in my brush into the mascara again because I don't need too much products for my 
lower lash and I think the excess on the brush is enough for your lower lashes. I'm going to line my lips with the Clitipo lip liner. They are the bougiest lip liner but one of the finest lip liners ever. I'm obsessed with their product. They have the best concealer on the planet and it's so expensive. I don't have it because I can't afford it anymore. This is very close to my lip color and also kind of close to my eyeshadow so I'm gonna line my lips with this. It's one of those lip liners, it's like Voxum, but Voxum it's way more affordable obviously. But this one has a brush at the other end and you can kind of like smudge your lip liner and use it as your lipstick. I'm not gonna really fill in my lips with it. I'm just gonna go over it a little bit that way my lips get some color. Then I'm gonna go over my lip liner with my most favorite lip gloss at the moment, which is Persona. I think it was JLo's makeup artist. He showed to how to like apply the lip gloss and he said just move it upward. That way you kind of lift your lips at the same time. Oh, I just remember I didn't put any blush on, so I'm gonna go with my palette by Terry. I'm not encouraging anyone to go out there and buy it because I know they are a bit more expensive, but they have this beautiful pink. The pink is like really matching my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna just get a little bit of it. All right, this is it you guys. This is a very simple fuchsia hot pink makeup look just perfect for spring and summer i highly recommend persona cosmetics products because i'm a number one fan as you know i hope this video was helpful you learned something new it was just fun to watch if you did you know the drill please make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video Stay beautiful. Bye.